Have you ever received an email like this? Or maybe like this? Maybe even one like this? All of these are phishing emails and they're pretty easy to identify due to the spelling and grammar errors along with the sense of urgency. But what would you do if you received an email like this? It looks pretty legit, right? There's no obvious spelling or grammar errors. The whole email is structured very well. It has the Google logo, even has a little lock there. It even says that this email was sent by Google. Going back to the email, it even has a working link, which takes us to a very legitimate looking Google signing page. Let's take a closer look. Nothing looks out of the ordinary until we click on the sender. It hasn't been sent by Google. This email has actually been created by me and sent using an account I set up to demonstrate how scarily easy this is. I created this very legitimate looking phishing email with no background of web design or coding. I have some very basic HTML skills and with those skills, along with some help from ChatGPT, I crafted this email template, which could probably fool quite a few people. It's very scary how easy this is. And after watching this video, you'll probably never want to click on a link ever again. This here was my inspiration. This is a legitimate email sent from Google and I've done such a good job in terms of design that I actually think my email looks less suspicious than this one here. It's so easy and I'm going to show you how someone might craft and send one of these emails. I started off this process by opening up ChatGPT and asking for a basic HTML email template for when a user forgets their password, taking inspiration from emails sent by Google. ChatGPT produced this piece of code for me which I then opened up in an HTML viewer. This here is our base. It's provided us with a basic structure which we can now edit. After a bit of back and forth with ChatGPT, asking for little things to be moved or added, such as the banner, I ended up with this here. I must add, this wasn't all ChatGPT. I did complete a little tweaking myself. I added the logos at the top, added the hyperlink, which will lead to our phishing site, and also customized the text to be more in line with what is sent in legitimate Google emails. After completing my template, I opened up my Kali machine and booted up Max Fisher. This is what I use to create my phishing link. If you want a full tutorial on Max Fisher, I do have one on my channel, which I will link below. So these here are our phishing links. Now that we have these, we can fire up the social engineering toolkit and navigate to the mass mailer option. Again, if you want a full tutorial, I have one on my channel, which I'll also link below. All we have to do now is enter our phishing link into the click here part of the template and then paste the entire HTML code into the field here. As you can see, we've had a notification that it's sent. And if we open up Gmail, you can see that we have received a very legitimate looking email from Google. Let's click on the link. It's taken us to a very convincing Google login page. And if we enter some fake credentials here and then open Kali back up, as you can see, these credentials have been sent straight back to my terminal. It's so scary how easy this is. Uh, I never click on any links that get sent to my email now. I always go direct to the website just to be safe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. As always, this video was for educational purposes only. I do not condone using anything that you may have learned for illegal or unethical purposes. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.